Hello, I'm Devilish Simmer, and welcome back to part 3. Now in part 2, we went through fixing the problems with the in-game options menu regarding resolutions and the smooth edges tool. Now in this part, we are going to go through fixing some of the in-game major glitches. So our first one that comes up is the infamous shadows. As you can see, the shadows have been replaced with big hideous black square boxes. Now, this is a very quick and simple fix. All you need to do is head over to the Mod The Sims website. Again, I will place the links in the description box below. You just need to come over to the Sim Shadow Fix. And as you can see, we have the black boxes, which are replaced with the normal working shadows within the game. Now, there are a various choice of shadows, ranging from light shadows up to darker shadows. It is your personal preference which one you want, depending on your game. For myself, I use 0.4. Uh, for the darker shadows and the reason for this is because I use the radiance lighting system which uses more realistic lighting so the lighter shadows don't show up too well so you need the darker shadows but it is your personal choice if you have an issue where your shadows are coming out white then you will need to download the other option of the non misty shadows which is still on this same page now you will need to read through all this information if you have in the past altered any of your graphic rules for the shadow problem you need to revert them back to their original status in order for this mod to work so restoring shadows and you just need to follow all these steps to restore your shadows in order for this mod to work. If you haven't altered any of your graphic rules on the shadows, then this step doesn't need to be followed. And like I've just previously touched upon, there is a known issue where in some games you are getting the white misty shadow. If you are getting that in your game, then you want to replace your standard download for the really not misty download. So let's jump into the download section. You want to be looking at these top ones first. Once you've chosen what lightness you want your shadow, you can choose the Sim Shadow Fix 0 0.2, 3, or 4, and just download that. Open up your game as normal and have a look. If the shadows are working fine, then your shadows are fixed. If you are getting that misty white shadow instead, then just pop back over and download the same version, 2, 3 or 4, but in really not misty. And then replace your former download, delete that from your downloads folder and download the new really not misty version. And that is all you need to do to fix the shadow. It really is that quick and that simple. Now, we will go over to the other major graphical issue within the game, and that is this one. Yes, the pink flashing everything. This is due to the graphical memory of storing textures within the game. As computers have got bigger, and as we've been able to do more and more with the game, i.e. custom content and because of the computers being more powerful we can now have more sims within a certain lot and we can have more furniture within a certain lot we're adding more and more to the lots we're adding more and more to the game but the problem is the game memory to hold all that is not changing so what the game is doing throwing out all the old files that it's not using to keep loading in new files and then eventually when it is full and it can't load any more new files in and it's not throwing any more files out we start getting this issue it's basically the game 
failing to load up textures. So it replaces that texture with the pink flashing, which is basically an error. Now this can be, again, very easily fixed, and it just involves downloading a little program. So it is NT Core, and it is the CFF Explorer Suite. You just want to go ahead, download that, and install that into your computer. Once that is installed into your computer, you can go ahead and open it up. It will be under Explorer Suite under your start menu, and you just want to open up the CFF Explorer, and it will open up a little box like this. Now, all you need to do is get your desktop icon for your Sims 2 game. Just click and drag and place it in this box, and it will open up the directory for that particular game. What you want to do is you want to head into File Header, that one there. Then you want to head over to Characteristics and you want to click here, where it literally says click here. This will open up a little Characteristics box and you don't need to touch anything other than this box here. This box will not be checked when you open up, but you need to check it. It is the app can handle more than two gigabyte of address space. Just tick that box, press OK. It will change the files in that game. You can just save, overwrite the original, yes, close down that program, and you are sorted. You should never see those pink flashing boxes ever again. I personally have not. That is now all the major graphical glitches within the game sorted. So that is all the tutorials to get your game running on a Windows 10 and 11, and also running with no major graphical glitches. So hopefully you should be able to enjoy the game as you were the day it first came out. I'm Devilish Simmer. I hope these tutorials have been of great use to you. I also hope that you following this tutorial has made a difference to your game. If it hasn't, I'm sorry. It just may mean there is a different issue with your game, which you may just need a little bit of research online to sort that out. For now, until the next one, happy simming guys.